In this video, I show you how to use Exodus. If you are new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you're on that, please go and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to know the full steps of setting up Exodus and using it. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. Now let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up your web browser. So personally, I use Google Chrome and the search I use is Google. So let's go and search for Exodius, just like so, and I'll show you the official website. So all you want to do is make sure you come to exodius.com, and it's going to say the best crypto wallet for desktop. So the first thing I want to show you is how to download it, how to install it, and then I'll show you how to use it. So all you want to do is go and click on Get Exodius Now, and then as you can see here, it says Download Exodius. Click here if you're on the M1 Mac, but I'm going to click here. And then as you can see, it gives us all the different options. So we get the Windows app, the Mac app, and the Linux apps. So I'm going to go click on the 64-bit Windows app, click here, and then it's going to go and drop the download. This is 150 megabytes, so hopefully it won't take too long to download, but it will depend on your internet speed. And then all you want to do is go and click on it just like so, and it should take a minute, and you may get a Windows security pop-up, you may not, um, but we'll wait. So as you can see, it's just circling, and you can come and close off Chrome. So as you can see, it's now installing Exodius. I'll zoom in on this so it's nice and clear, but you just gonna have to wait. And as you can see, now you're gonna get this pop-up saying Exodius has been installed. You can run it by clicking the shortcut on your desktop or in the app menu. So if you don't have this shortcut down here, all you need to do is go to the search icon down here and you can go and search for Exodius, but I've got it on my desktop, so I'm gonna double click on it. And here we go, it's now gonna launch it up for the first time. So it'll take a minute to load as you can see. And here we go, it is now launching and it's gonna say welcome to Exodius. So as you can see here, this is my first time using it. So you can either make your first deposit into your new wallet or you can go and restore it from a backup. So if you've had a wallet before, you're gonna have a secret 12 word key phrase you can go and enter in but I haven't actually had an Exodius wallet before, so I'm gonna go and click on make your first deposit. So you're probably wondering what is make your first deposit? So to go and do that, we're gonna have to go and buy some crypto on an exchange like Coinbase or Binance, and then we can come and send it to here. So to go and do that, you'd want to go and buy it on Coinbase, and then you come to Exodius and go and click on receive if you're buying Bitcoin, and then you'd go and click your Bitcoin address. You go and copy this, and then once you've bought the Bitcoin and it's in your wallet on the web exchange, then you can go and send it to this address within your exchange and then it's gonna arrive here and it's gonna be listed here. And Exodius has so many different coins. We've got Ethereum, we've got BNB or Binance coin, Cardano, Tether, you know, all the main coins are on here. And to get back to the home of Exodius, just come and click on the little sort of icon up here. It's gonna take you back here. Here we've got an exchange. Now to go and swap the crypto, you're already gonna have it. So you can't use your bank account to buy crypto, say, but you can if you have some Bitcoin switch to Ethereum or to another coin as well. And if we come and click on the settings as well, you can look at all the different assets and you've got extra apps as well. You've got devices, you've got personalized, so you can go and add currency. So I could change this to um, GBP, which is the British pound because I'm from the UK. And we've got security as well, and you've got backup. So you can go and create a password, which I really recommend doing. You must remember your password, it cannot be recovered. So remember that guys, but you need to go and create this password, you confirm it, and then you have a paper backup, and then you can go and finish. But yeah, honestly, creating a password is super, super key um, because it's gonna keep your crypto safe. But that is the main ways you go and use Exodus. Basically, it's just a way of storing crypto on your computer, and as I said, do make a password, and it has loads of different functions as well. So if you found this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button, leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.